so hello and welcome to yet another lesson in our study of complex analysis so today we'll be going through the Cauchy's integral formula or the Cauchy's integral formula anyhow you want to pronounce it it's a noun so you can go to the playlist of this video and look for our previous video which was on the ML estimate so I'm going to can render a final instance of mathematics KNUST and I'll be taking you through this lesson so let's begin so let a function f of z be analytic on and inside so this keywords on and inside a positively oriented simple closed contour C and A is any point inside C so A can also be on C okay then we have what we have here so then um, f of a is equal to 1 over 2 pi i times a close integral along the contour c f of z over z minus a dz so just take note of what we have here okay because um almost everything we will be doing we are going to reference this okay so this equation one can be simplified as what we have here so we can decide to multiply through by 2 pi i so multiplying through by 2 pi i is going to give us 2 pi i times f of a then the one we have here will cancel out so we just have the integral the close integral of f of z z minus a dz along the contour c so we've been able to simplify equation one into this called equation two and this is what you'd be using to solve our questions referencing the theorem that we um, stated here this one okay so let's take some example so you have to compute the following integrals using the Cauchy integral formula so we have this particular question we have this one and we are going to compute a third one okay so let's start solving the questions so the first question says we have this as we can see here okay so um you see um in a complex plane our z is given by x plus i y so the modulus of z is given as root of s square plus y squared which is equal to the radius so that means that when you have modulus of z equals something whatever we have here is the radius okay so it corresponds to the radius and mostly we have it in this form so z where this r here happens to be the radius and this a here happens to be the center so when you just have modulus of z equals r then that means that our center is zero okay that's the reason why they don't bring it so with this question for instance our center is zero that's the reason you just have the absolute value of z and it's equal to two so that means the radius of this this contour is a circle with radius two then our a here happens to be one because we have z minus a and this happens to be our f of z so making the comparison with the quest n the theorem we stated above so we consider this contour which happens to be a circle it has radius 2 and a is equal to 1 so that means that a is equal to 1 falls inside so when you have this point here we know since this is the radius which is 2 then a equals 1 will be somewhere here which falls within the circle so that means that we can apply the Cauchy integrals formula so by the Cauchy integrals formula then 
the integral of what we have here is equal to 2 pi i f of e and here you know that our e is 1 so f of 1 then so I say recall from what we have here so we've already stated this okay so recall from this so note that this is our f of z here that's z squared right so putting in our e which happens to be 1 is going to give us 1 so meaning the integral is going to be 2 pi i times 1 which is going to give us 2 pi i so this happens to be the solution to the first question so actually when you are being given a question what you have to look out for is the radials the center then you construct your circle when you construct a circle you verify to see whether the point e lies inside the circle on the circle or not so if it lies inside the circle or on the circle that means you can apply the Cauchy's integral formula but if it lies outside then by the Cauchy integral formula that particular integral is zero okay all right our third example is going to explain that one further so we have another question here so with this particular question we can see that we have the modulus of z equals one right so comparing it to this that means that the center is the center of this circle is zero and the radius is one so that's the illustration i've given here All right so the radius is one and the center is zero so that means that we can draw this circle so when you draw this circle this is the center which happens to be zero and the radius is one okay so we can see that here the denominator is z right so that means that our e is zero our e is zero so our a is zero and it falls within the circle so our a will be somewhere here which falls within the circle so that means by couching integral formula then the integral will be equal to 2 pi i f of e where the e is equal to zero so we have f of z to be sine z and sine of zero is equal to zero so that means when you put everything inside 2 pi i times 0 will give you 0. So that means the whole integral is equal to 0 using the Cauchy's integral formula. Now let's take a third example. So with the third example, this is the question. Okay. So, you know, making comparison, then our radius is half and our e happens to be 1. So when we draw this circle, our radius is half and our e is 1. So you can see that this point 1 here falls outside the circle because the radius is half. So this place happens to be half. So this falls outside the circle. So since our e falls outside the circle, by the Cauchy integral from line term, then this particular integral, we don't even have to compute anything. It's zero okay so actually that's how to use the Cauchy integral formula to be able to evaluate some integrals complex integrals so i want you to notice a trend in the question that we've solved so far so you could see that here everything here was to the power one here to in our second question to everything here was to the power one and with the third question we just solved you can see that um, with that one to our denominator everything here was to the power one but sometimes you'll be getting powers more than one you can get two three four five and when we have questions of that nature we slightly modify the Cauchy's integral formula that we've been introduced to in this video to 
solve such questions and that's what we'll be doing in our next video okay so the next topic will be derivatives of the contour integrals okay so for instance when you have a question like this where you have z plus one this time around it's not of the power one but of the power four how can you evaluate such integrals so you'll be tackling such issues in our next video so thank you very much and I wish you all the best. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't so that you'll be notified whenever a new video drops. Thank you very much.